Hello Twitch, welcome in everyone. How is everyone doing today? Happy Saturday, or is it Friday? It's Friday. Saturday? Friday? But what day is it today? <laughs> but welcome in everyone. I know it's Saturday. I'm I'm gonna go with this plate for the pie tonight. Hmm. Do I wanna go with this one or I wanna go with that one? Let me take a look at the huh. I am torn with what plate pan to use for this project. I guess I'm gonna go with this one. Might as well just leave it out. Awesome! Well, it's gonna be our first project of the day after I finish doing these dishes, which should have been done before the stream started. And do a little coffee action. I honestly feel like I'm just waking up and getting going. Uh, I have no idea where this day disappeared to, other than I know I watched some Formula One today. But, like, today disappeared. So how is everyone? Glad to see everyone in here early. Welcome Shadow, welcome Toto, welcome Entropy. Who else that I've seen hanging around here? Let's make sure our timers are running. They aren't. Thank you for the cheer, Shadow. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome in. Thank you for that kind hello. Work. There we go. Of course, gonna have to start off with our pie making the dough because we're going to have to make the dough, the pie dough, and then allow it to chill. Let's see if I've got enough coffee here. I'm hoping I've got enough coffee. I might just pour myself a shortcut if I don't. Oh, hey. Perfect amount. Oh, 
Of course, we're also doing fruit salad tonight. Should be a fun one. Gonna use up, I made, I don't know if anyone in the chat remembers, I made some pickled grapes uh, last month. And so, yeah, I'm gonna use some pickled grapes in our fruit salad tonight. Although, there are no grapes as far as New World is concerned. I'm just, it'll be in the bottom. <laughs> Spicy, sweet. Hot and sour combo. Hot and sweet and sour combo. Pickled red grapes. But also to go along with the apple pie that everyone seems to be drooling over. <laughs> Everyone seems to be drooling over the apple pie. I'm more excited for this. I'll do it over the stove. So I'm drip on my coffee. Beef tri-tip. <laughs> it's basically a cheese steak, but I'm using tri tip. We got our bread already proofed yesterday on stream, so this is our two rolls. We'll do a second proofing with this. I'm Letting it warm up from temperature of uh, the refrigerator. I'm uh, gonna be doing a marinade for the tri tip. You know what? Why don't we start with the marinade for the tri tip? We can do that before we can even do the dough for the uh, pie. And I'm wondering what temp. Uh, we might as well. Let's get our oven going to 400 here for our bread. Yeah, actually I realized that I need to start with the sandwich before I start with the apple pie because the sandwich we're gonna have to marinate the tri-tip which I defrosted earlier today and I'm gonna have to shape and allow the two rolls to proof because that's this is not one roll this is this is two rolls Oh, come on, quit dripping. You've had your three and a half minutes. I'm having a bad extraction. That sounds so wrong. But if we look at what this sandwich is supposed to look like, according to 
New World. We have, uh, let's see here. Why you know capture right? There we go. Now to me, that looks a little bit more like Beef Wellington than it does like a sandwich. I, I don't see no red onion there. I, I don't see no cheese. I see what looks more to me like a thin wrapping of puff pastry, some mushroom duxelle, and a filet. The music's loud? We can turn it down a touch. I didn't know it was loud. Better or lower? Appreciate the feedback. It's a little hard to gauge the music level when, I mean, literally in this browser, I have this audio set to 4%. We, we just went from five to four percent. Cheers, folks. Welcome in. Glad to have you. <sighs> okay, so we're getting started with our steak. Get a bag for this because we're going to marinate it in a different bag than we have right here. Going to try and avoid getting a cutting board dirty here by going from bag to bag. So here is my hacked up tri-tip, took a couple good slashes at it there, whoever the butcher was, and that's a bit. Otherwise decent looking piece of meat. We'll do a somewhat simple marinade. A little cheapo soy. A little Worcestershire and fish sauce. Worcestershire. Me and Perkins. They're trying their best to take over the name of or 
first district. Shire. What else do we want to put in our marinade for this? I want to keep it somewhat simple. I think we'll just do that. Just a little bit of soy and some liquid MSG. There. We'll allow that to hang out right there. Meantime, we'll take our dough here. And I'm going to shape this, hopefully, into two loaves here. Hey, Moz! Welcome in. This thing got dirty in the drawer. I don't pull it out very often, though. So we'll take our bench scraper, plastic one, pull our dough out. Take whatever that is off of it. And we're gonna give that a slice in half. And each of these, we're going to give a little flour on our board. Give these a bit of a physical roll up. Hey, Bun Buns! How goes your Saturday? Nice shadow. Yeah, we have stream readers going ahead of time. Started that off at the beginning of the stream. I sort of wish that they made stream readers so that you could start up the maps and then look back at it, at the info about it because there's a lot of stuff that they do for this game that really only the streamer gets to see unless they're like changing over themes during stream. Like, most of the time, the theme changeover is not while you're streaming. I mean, I'm sorry I'm not a 24 7 streamer, but even if you're not streaming half the time, you're probably not going to get all of them. And there's no real good way to show everyone what's the difference between the last theme. And this one is, and so I sort of have to sit here and try and tell you what they've done much better visually, but I can't show you. So let's do our first battle. Throw a little haste on there, allow everyone to run around a bit quicker. Unfortunately, the haste doesn't work for your slash speed. Looking good. Boo. Boo. 
We had so many people. We had we had units out there. What the? Boo. Let's give this another shot. I mean, it's not even, it's a moderate battle. It's not even a hard one. Okay, when am I going to start with? I'm going to do a monk this time. And so put some tanks in between my monk and there. We want some damage or some melee. Whether it's tanks, whether it's rogues, whether it's berserkers. Put your berserkers out there. Berserkers do the most damage. They're not very fast, but, but they kill stuff. And so we'll roll these up a bit like a burrito now that we've flattened it out. Take the sides in a little bit. And we're going to allow this to proof a second time on our cutting board, or on our baking tray. Wake up, yeast. Do the second one with the zoom in. Eventually, I'm not there yet. I'll be making pie tonight though, Bun Buns. Getting started with the rolls for our bread. Bread rolls for our sandwiches. Of course, I'm going to emulate that image. These things aren't going to be treated very well. It's going to have to copy that puff pastry look, which is there's no insides. Didn't do this with the other one. I forgot you should do this. We want to pinch and seal this so I'll have to come back and fix the other one pinch it until it becomes one piece of dough may our bread powers combine And then we put the seal down. Some bad advice. My apologies. I don't have that feed in front of me that often anymore. The next time you make you make some bread, what I, what I suggest you do is just skip the skip the yeast because you you can do it all with Kevin chemical leaveners these days, and your your bread's gonna turn out just as good if you if you use some baking soda instead of yeast.
<coughs> so we'll let these sit another hour or so on top of that oven while that oven fully heats up. I mean, it's up to temp, but is it really up to temp? Cheers. I, I pulled this a little bit forward on the stove. I know it doesn't look as good on the camera, but we, we do have the exhaust from that 400 degree oven. Hopefully it'll help proof this, it'll turn it like 30 minutes. So we got our bread going, we got our meat marinating. Let's get into making some pie dough. Oh hey, we have a bowl that I can make some dough in. How handy. Let's look at my Infos. I don't know if I got enough flour here. We'll see. We shall see. Don't think I do. Rum balls. That sounds like a fun time. What are you using for your filling? Just sugar and rum? Maybe some corn syrup? See, that isn't quite two cups. I guess I gotta get more flour. Okay, I'm gonna call that two and a half there. Yup, and crushed vanilla wafers, okay. I was wondering if I had it on the main screen so that everyone could actually see what I was doing and then I ended up spilling because I was not paying attention to moving the flour. Hmm. It's with rum, so I don't know. I wouldn't suggest it with rum. If you're doing tequila like that, though, I'm, I'm sort of wondering about the idea of using ginger cookies instead of vanilla wafers.
<laughs> I think it would work better with like tequila, like I was saying, instead of say rum. Rum, depending on what type of rum you're using, if you're using a white rum or something like that, that probably be fine, but dark rums or spiced rums, it might be a bit rough with ginger. Okay, sugar, salt. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to give this 10 or 15 minutes for these to come up to something closer to room temp. I'm not gonna use the microwave on them frozen to get them, try and get them room temp. That just ain't gonna work. our dough aside and we'll get ready we'll get working on some apples apples let's get this counter a wipe I'm not too worried about flour getting on the apples but Do I have an apple core or do I do it by hand? These I'm gonna chop up by hand. My mom used to or does have one of those old school Apple slicer slash core machines. It always seemed like such a big operation. It was always fun, and I loved doing it as a kid. You know, that whole just turn the crank the wheel and cuts it. And... That's what I'm doing to Corum. I'm 
And this is what I'm doing to peel them. You can use a vegetable peeler, it takes off more uh, apple. But I am then chunking mine. instead of thin slices. Do a, and I'm not even worrying about keeping my chunks all the perfect same size with this, because that means some of them are gonna break down a little bit more and some a little less, Get a little variation going. Variety of spice of life. Cleaning out that one little seed on the side there that I missed.
I prefer lime to lemon and generally. And this one's been kicking around a minute, so we'll use this one. Light squeeze juice over the top of the apples. Give them a toss. Hopefully the acid will help keep them from oxidizing as much. Ah, you can't even see it if I put it there. Last eight minutes to get units on the battlefield for our next battle. You also get more control with the knife that you can do things like here, where I cut it a bit deeper to get rid of that bruise. It's there. But if you're more comfortable with a peeler, it is certainly safer. You're not handling a blade that is likely to cut you.
that's something I haven't done on stream that I definitely have to do is uh, replicating the French Laundry uh, Apple Donuts. Where have I done that? I don't remember if I've tried that or not on stream. If I did, it was a while ago. Almost there. One more apple. I know peels. You like peels in your apple pie cr uh, filling? I'm not much of a fan of peel. It's one of the few cases where, yeah, I think I'll take the peels off. Already, I'm gonna finish this apple first, though. And again, you're a rabbit, so you, you probably like the, the peels like that. Ooh, left a seed in there. Don't want any arsenic in our pie. We use the lime juice.
What? Did I throw an apple in there, like, only sliced halfway? <laughs> Come on, there's gonna be a fourth one. <laughs> okay, to battle. range took out their range that's good I think we got this one entropy bailing us out those ranged in Vogel flight Vogel flight helping us out with those kills thank you thank you <laughs> bun buns getting the scroll congrats Everyone else doing all the work and Bun Bun's the bunny just running away with the rewards. <laughs> Rogue skin. Ooh, now we got a hard one though. Now we're now we're gonna now we're gonna have to pull out the stops. And I don't even know where anything's gonna pop up. So I'm just gonna put a pally out there next to this one guy here. And hope things go well. <sighs> Let's put that back on here. And I don't have. Finish the battle up just in time to send everyone off to an ad. So get rid of our peels in the meantime. I, I secretly put those in a bowl and sent them to Bun Buns. But in the meantime, let's go back to doing some dough here. We got... Is that usable? I have a feeling that this is still a little too frozen. Not too bad. Now let's see how much butter I actually needed here. Um, want that, and then we want extra. Creaming sugar, butter, and sugar together. Creaming method would not be used for pie crust. Creaming method I do prefer for cookies, cakes, and many other things. Pie dough. We're cutting. 
you get that flaky pie dough because the same thing that gives you your lift in puff pastry and other things, the melting of your butter hopefully still solidified and not completely mixed in by the time it's in the oven is going to break down to milk fat solids that'll brown give you nice color water which is going to evaporate and give you bubbles and lift so and then fat sugar, salt, butter. The only thing we don't have in there is water. And water goes in after this. We're now gonna cut all these big cubes of butter into small little pea size or smaller pieces, but you still wanna keep them as solid butter in there. You don't wanna allow it to melt and combine with the flour for the exact reason I was saying earlier with your leavening and your flakiness. That's why with a lard crust, you still even have the same sort of a thing. There's no, there's not, I don't think there's nearly as much water in lard as there is in butter. You can easily do this in a food processor instead. Uh, I do think a food processor does melt a little bit of that butter with mechanical temperature. I, you just can't prevent it, but it'll get you a good crust. We'll go around one more time here, making sure we get everything cut in. Let's turn our buns around here. They're proofing. They they haven't looked like they've risen much. Looking on the stove here, they have not impressively proofed up much. I think they have proofed a little bit though. This one's seeming a little bit happier than it was before.
and then cold water. We need six tablespoons? Teaspoons? Tablespoons? Tablespoons. Is it three or four? It's four to a quarter cup, isn't it? Now I'm just going to mix and combine this until it comes together ever so slightly. Sort of some light kneading basically, just sort of folding things until we get it all combined into one sort of puck. Debating adding a little bit more water to this, and I think we're just about okay. dough for later. I'm going to take my lid for this bowl. Just pop that in. Throw this in the fridge. Forget about it for a little bit. Apples. Let's add some sugar and some other goodness here. brown sugar and white sugar in there, half cup of white, quarter cup of brown.
I'm gonna add a little cinnamon in there. And nutmeg. Pinch of salt. I knew there was another one that I didn't cut. So we'll allow that to hang out while we work on finishing up our dough, while our dough rests. Got our meat going, got our bread almost ready to go. I think we start into the fruit salad here. Because we're just waiting on other stuff right now. I think it's fruit salad time. If you can't tell, the fruit salad is the filler of tonight's show. <laughs> it's the meat. And so what do I start with first for our fruit salad? Probably the orange. Because... It's going to stay in the bowl easiest long enough. And well, not this color. Probably not going to affect everything else too much either. This is one of the rare advantages of this knife over chef's knife, is this one's just small enough that, that if you want to do a little cleanup on something, you can choke up on it and do a little cleaning.
making surprams of orange. Orange Supremes. Sure, deciding if I want a second one of those or not. What am I looking at here for a fruit salad? <coughs> so this is our fruit salad for tonight. What I'm trying to replicate. I'm gonna be doing that in one of my blue bowls rather than that scalloped looking black bowl. Like, I've got clear bowls that are sort of like that, but don't have much. So I think I'm going to use one of my dark blue bowls for that. You can only, I, I almost want to say that they added the oranges into this. Like, there's, there's orange there. There's a little orange there. A little orange there. But there's like no orange. <laughs> it's like all kiwi and strawberry and blueberry. I think I'm gonna stop there with that. I think that's enough. I have another orange in case I want it. And got that one. Where's this one? We're gonna save that until the end. Add in a handful of nice blueberries here. Okay, two handfuls. Oh, hey, what do you know? My strawberries came from Watsonville. strawberries to you basically has half strawberries in there I'm not for that those are looking nice for this time of year those are nice and red for this time of year. Normally they're like, like maybe a little red and this is all white. Getting good growing these things even in the winter. at the same time they've also been refrigerated and strawberries that have been refrigerated like tomatoes they're, they're just not the same tomatoes it's more apparent but strawberries definitely lose something just going into the refrigerator the first time whether it's for five minutes or a week Don't store strawberries in the...
Excuse me. That just doesn't look all that yummy. Now see, that's a winter strawberry. That's a winter strawberry. Like, I'm astonished that we're getting color like that compared to put the two of them together there. I mean, that's ripe. That's, yeah. Might as well add a little lime juice since we got it. And then pickled grapes, which you saw me make here on stream. And you do have a typical, I mean, this is a pretty much a straight pickling liquid in this. We've, we've got mustard, we've got pepper, got some jalapeno in there for some heat. Got a little star anise in there. Reminded me why I did this in the first place, because this was as part of the star anise ingredient challenge. If you absolutely love jalapeno, you go for it. But I think that's lent most of its flavoring already to these. Let's give one of those a shot. Wow. Jalapeno and that that grape are just good buddies. Like that that's a that's a great pairing. That jalapeno flavor, the little bit of the mustard. Even though there's a skin, that is penetrated by that acid right there. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. So this would be a nice, almost like a palate cleanser. That'd be like all this fruit and then you come across a little hit of that and you'd be like, whoa. I think that's actually enough for that. We just want a little bit of an accent going there.
That's, and it lingers too. Like it's one of those flavors that, you know you're eating something. And then our last ingredient for this, well, maybe, maybe I should go with this bowl for this. I mean, it's not perfect, but. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna go with this bowl for this rather than. Oh, come on, I know I ripped this open. Where is it open? I actually know where there's a kiwi vine in Sonoma County. It's at Luther Burbank's farm. Or actually it's at his home, not his farm. You know, I bet you could take the skin off better than this. This is just always how I've been shown to take a kiwi skin off, is just slicing it off. But it sort of feels like this is one of those skins that you could almost, like, look at it wrong and it would come off. are killing us. Just picking us off one by one. We, we got a strong core there, but is it going to survive? I think we barely got this one. That was close. Close. Down to me and Vogel. Itri and Vogel getting us those kills and assists. But that was close. Shadow getting those scrolls this time. And off to see the boss. Gonna have a battle against the beast folk. Let's see what we got going on here. Arrgh. I think I want to start in this top corner over here with, say, Centurion. Sort of a diagonal fight here, so, I mean, Either here, 
But there's going to be a lot of slowdown getting into things there. So maybe over here and over here. And we'll sort of pinch them. We'll do a... Couple melee, couple support. Everyone else over here. Okay. And now for Kiwi. Something like that. Give me a good looking strawberry here. They're all upside down. I can't see if any of them are any good. None of them are any good. Oh well, we'll leave it like that. Let's see, what else do we got to put in there? They have a little mint in there. I don't have any mint to actually add in there. First dish of the night done. Now we make it a dish I'll actually eat. I'm sort of thinking I should add some cornstarch to these apples. It's not in the recipe, but I'm sort of tempted to, because they're already deacon from all that sugar and salt.
Yeah, they don't have any in there, but I'm I'm royally tempted to add a little starch in there. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, folks. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Let's see what we get here for some bread here to, oh. Y'all can't see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this for our buns. Let, let's see how they turn out. Let's see if we get two Subway rolls here if they end up being breadsticks. Take a look at those in a little bit. While that's working, we're gonna go back to pie time. I'm also going to put this whole fruit salad back in the bowl with the rest of it. That's more likely to be afternoon snack tomorrow than it's going to be dinner tonight. do love me fruit salad, but it's not dinner thing for me. Back to our pie debating what I want to do here. I want to get a nice golden crust on it. I almost want to I'm tempted to add some butter to that, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. dough as it's been resting.
So we got our bottom crust. Not a big high and heavy one like before. Not gonna do a big crimped edge on this one. Trying to replicate the photo somewhat. We got a nice smooth edge on the... Image we're replicating. So you got to cut a little bit extra off here. Right on the edge of being too short there. Not crimping, just folding under and carefully putting it on the rim. And smell that bread in the oven. Here's hoping that it had enough hydration in it still to get a nice poof going. I'm gonna turn the light on and see if I can see. Yeah, we might have breadsticks. We might have breadsticks. And then this half. Oh, you thought I was done rolling? Hmm, what do I have that I can do that with? Oh. Yeah. I sort of want to get that out, but I sort of don't. Oh, I already have it out. And I'm just using this ruler as a straight edge. Just get some nice, clean, long, straight cuts.
<coughs> Excuse me. Let's put our flour away. Put our ruler away. And let's see what we need to do here. I'm sort of curious what the plans are for this recipe. Okay, now for the fun time. We're gonna pour all of this into our pie shell. There's the wrong thing to do this with. We want all that liquid and all that sugar. I'm realizing now that I didn't put any apple in my fruit salad. There was supposed to be apple in there. I'm not remaking it. There's our apple pie ready to go in the oven. 
just need a sheet pan. And parchment. So I passed the grade on making our apple pie tonight. Don't quite have it in the oven yet, but I got another minute and a half on our bread, which looks could come out right now. Yeah. So we got breadsticks. Oh, come on, camera. What kind of image is that? We got breadsticks. So, those will be sliced, and we'll, we'll see what we can do with this. I might be able to salvage these. <laughs> uh, let's see here. and I do that. That's not a horrible plan. I can get along with that. They're suggesting one more step to this. Well, actually two steps. But that was the timer for our bread. It's suggesting a little milk and an extra brush of sugar on top. I'm not opposed to that idea. There we go. And a sprinkle of sugar. We're starting with the 10 minute timer on our, and then we're reducing temperature to cook through. Ooh, time for battle. 
how conveniently timed. Get out of your shopping bag. I think it's time for a little clean up here on top of the battle. I don't need to make it harder on myself to start up tomorrow's stream. Let's do our battle. Let's go to war. makes you go all the way down there into a pinch point. That's not cool. Berserker saving the day down there in the bottom. Thank you for all the support, but uh, to let people know Especially Husito, who put two of them there. Flag carriers do not, they don't stack. So you only get the power from one of them. Whoever, whichever is the highest leveled flag carrier is going to get everyone's buff. And then the other two are just targets to be killed. Appreciate your help. Are we going to do this? What is this? What, 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 what is this? I, I look down and we are killing everything and I explain things about flags and I look back down and we're dead. What happened? You gotta do this again. Okay, but we have a better idea of how this map works this time. Last time I started over here, and we got pinched here. So we can't cross over these, and we can't cross over these things. Um, that really means that we sort of need three ar four armies here. We, we need, because that flying one couldn't even cross over to this. So it looks like we need troops all four quarters for this one. Okay, folks? We, we need something in all the corners. And I'm going to start with the monk. Which quarter has the most to kill? I'm going to start with a monk right here. I don't know why I put it there, but I did. <laughs> Let's see if we can do better this round or compared to last. But yeah, I think it's time to do a little clean up here. This kitchen's starting to look a little messy. One of the phrases that always stuck with me as far as culinary. I don't even remember who told it to me, whether it was community college before the Culinary Institute or if it was Culinary Institute, but messy station, messy mind. Things are not organized. You don't know where they are. Hello, chef. Welcome in. Always got to do a double take on chef. I don't know how many times I've walked into, walked, joined chat of another streamer and been called chief. 
I, I don't know. I think it's the gaming thing. People think of Chief rather than Chef originally. But happy to have a fellow chef in here. Welcome in. How you doing? You're learning to be a chef? <laughs> nice! It's definitely a profession that you have to love and want to be a part of. Because it is not e easy on people. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and pick up at the same time here. So, and it's not getting any easier. The number of jobs just took a major hit in the industry between COVID and delivery. These ghost kitchens are killing the industry. Well, killing the, the labor of the industry. Yep. Uh, I actually suggest if you're, you're looking to make it a career, there's probably a lot more longevity and a lot more uh, long-term into working with packaged products and, and prepared foods than there is in the sit-down restaurant world. Uh, I don't think restaurants are going anywhere but I certainly think they're going to be hurting over the next five to ten years. They, they're not going to come back from COVID the way that they were. And uh, additionally, I mean, so many people are get Everyone wants everything delivered at home these days. Uh, so. Well, welcome in. We got some apple pie in the oven. We got some bread fresh out of the oven, although they're more like bread sticks than bread. Made them a little small. curious to hit up that beef. We got that tri-tip sitting there on the counter. It's been sitting in that marinade for, well, since I started the stream almost. Definitely since five. So at least an hour and a half on that. Just sitting in soy, fish sauce, and uh, Worcestershire. We'll take that out and give that a good proper sear now. We'll move our bread over the counter here. timer on our pie. 
Now we're dropping it down 25 degrees to 375. And how much longer are we cooking it? And yeah, we're gonna be cooking this, this pie for a bit. I set it to 40 minutes. The recipe asking an hour and 20. One heck of a cook time on that at 375 Fahrenheit. I know we got an international audience. I don't know what 375 transfers to in metric. But what do we? Okay, Google. 375 in metric. Oh, that didn't work well. inches is equivalent to 9.525 meters. That didn't quite work. Okay, Google. 375 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. 375 degrees Fahrenheit is 190.556 degrees Celsius. So it's a bit warm. It's a bit toasty to be baking. I mean, if you're doing bread, that's one thing, but for a pie, yeah. Thank you, Shadow. <laughs> I, I often try to avoid doing that on stream because I, I use that thing all the time, but I try to avoid using it in stream because I know it activates everyone else's if they have one in their own house. Well, to some degree. It may not recognize me as you. Okay, I can't stand it. This fruit just chilling here next to me. See if I can't get everything on one fork here. There we go. All five on one fork. Yeah, you definitely don't want to overdo it with the grapes with that. Because you could tell the grape was there. It wasn't quite enough to overpower everything, but it definitely made an imprint on me much more than, say, that blueberry. That blueberry sort of disappeared. Starting to get a little smoke here. We got a light smoke going with our pan. I want this thing hot. I want it hot. Nice. I wish I had act well I don't really want to go through the purchase I don't want to buy a 3d printer and have it take up space and be use it once a year sort of a thing but I wish I had access to one without I used to be a member of a makerspace there's several makerspaces here in Sonoma where they have all sorts of tools and stuff like that but it ended up being that ended up being too expensive for me too but I, I wish I had access to like a 3D printer for like, you know, maybe a part a month at best. Now we're starting to get some decent smoke there.
I appreciate the offer, Shadow. I don't really have anything, like, like I said, like, maybe once in a blue moon I come up with something like, yeah, I wish I could print that, but... Nothing really right now. Like with this camera mount. I wish I could have done a different camera mount. I ended up just buying something, but... The camera mount that I have over here, the plastic that was on it over the stove just couldn't handle the aerated oils and stuff. It just became brittle. This one's breaking too in the same way. So we're starting off by just searing this in the pan, getting a nice color on our piece of meat here. I could pull this flap out. I don't know if I want to do that or that. It's a thin piece of meat. I, I sort of want to leave that pinned with everything else, I think. Smoke, you're gonna turn the fan on high now. slash toothpick. It's a big toothpick. On there to keep that flat together. Now we'll take this and throw this in the oven with our apple pie. Time, we gotta cook some onions. Sitting here wondering where. Nah, eh, I'm not even gonna bring that. <laughs> I just don't even want to talk about that. Thank you, Shadow. Yeah, I've been getting some decent dark colored onions from this store I've been getting my onions from lately. Onions and 
and all that are always a little bit hard to find at the farmer's markets. Like, you'll find them, like, peak summer. But none of the small farmers really... I, I don't think it's cost-effective for them to actually cure and age their onions. So I, I don't see a lot of them year-round. Although you can store onions basically year-round. How are we doing this? First we're taking that core out. And we're gonna slice these. Give them a quick. A little bit of a thick slice. breaking up all of these into individual pieces. This is of course going to be on our sandwich itself. So I'm not going to go full caramelized with these, I still want a little bit of... Um, I'm doing some diner caramelized onions, as I think I've called them here before on stream, where we're getting some color there's going to be some brownness, but they're also not completely cooked through. They're more super fast, like, yeah. You still know they're there. It's not just this caramelized onion sweetness that you get from those beautiful, heavy caramelized onions. drink. I think I'm going for water this time. Not drinking tonight, though I do plan to have a little wine tomorrow night. Not good to drink every night. Unless it's water. Oh. Oh.
Oh yeah, I love me some cooked onions. There used to be a cool old dude at the farmer's markets that... That's all he sold. He'd, he'd caramelized onions and put them in a jar. Last six minutes, get units on the battlefield. Get that last minute push, get a couple more units out there. We'll hit that all with a little bit of salt. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, Shadow. Yeah, the onions are... I mean... They're... Retail at a supermarket. A buck a pound. They're more like 39 cents to a restaurant. It is not hard to make someone happy with caramelized onions in a restaurant. And it's a good margin time. Mexican dish AC. What's ACC though? No, I don't have the memory for acronyms. Steak, rice, cheese, and onions. Just assuming maybe some form of carne asada then. Now see, I think these would have been great as sub buns if I'd made the subs like that. So that, I mean, they didn't get too dark. They got a nice ro cook on them. They're just a little too thin. I rolled them too thin. ACP, you're not. <laughs> Nice and soft. They very obviously. I think I'm pretty much just going to, between the bread being too thin and the picture for our sandwich tonight literally being a beef wellington, I think I might somewhat skip the original shot here of the shooter sandwich, this one here. And yeah, I was following Bon Appetit for the pie. Um, that That's Beef Wellington. That is not a sandwich. So I think I'm going to make an actual sandwich. So 
So I, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take some creative freedoms tonight, and we're not gonna replicate that image perfectly. I know you stopped making noise back here, but you're still cooking. I know you are. I'll repeat my overused joke about sautéing things. Whenever things start getting quiet with with food, it's a little like a toddler. It, it, when they're getting quiet, you, you know they need some attention because they're, they're up to no good. Those onions are up to no good. Thank you, Shadow. Last 20 seconds or so until we get another battle of Stream Raiders. Last chance to get a unit out there. Probably already passed for you due to lag. You probably all like, why haven't you started yet, Jason? Well, I'm still looking at seven seconds to go. Heat off of the onions. Bacon. And to battle. I think we got a better chance this time. We're all as a big army against them. That's at least a big plus. Aw, oh, but they're just cutting us down as we get close. Oh, that thing is just destroying us. Get it? Finally? Victory! Yay! <laughs> Great mulking and vocal flight, Vogel flight, getting our kills and assists. Vogel just tearing things up tonight. Intrigue. Stealing that scroll though. I get some goodies too. Oh, let's see if we get any upgrades that I care about here. No. I get to upgrade my Warby, so. Let's see if we got anything in the store I want. No, 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 no. How are we looking in the quest department? 
not there yet. Alright. Next battle. Last one of the evening, maybe? Pally out there. Onions, I'm gonna take those off of the heat here now. I wish I could have gotten a little more. Eh, actually, I'm gonna give a little more time to those. I'll low temp those a little while. Let them sit just a little small flame underneath them. That's not a small flame. There we go. Small flame. And we need some cheese. We need cheese for our sandwich tonight. <laughs> Trying out their cheese for the first time. I don't think I've had Clover's organic cheese yet. I like a lot of Clover's other products. I like Strauss better, but Clover's not a bad dairy. I like them both better than Tillamook, which I know there's some big time Tillamook fans out there. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry that Tillamook is just not up to the standards of Sonoma Dairy. That looks like enough for a sandwich. to me, but let's temp it just to be sure. Oops, that's an temp alert top. beef or let that just hang out. Oops. So the beef is just hanging out. We got our cheese ready. Let's put this in a separate bowl so it's just not all strewn over the cutting board. Shadow.
Yeah, you get up around like... Five or ten and your tanks become just absolute machines. The only problem with the tanks though is they are tanks. They do like no damage. Uh, they'll sit there and take a ton of damage, but they only do like one or two in damage versus like let's see here my warriors my tanks my top one here so damage of 14 and then this is topped out this is max level 30 um, so it maxes out at 14 damage and a speed of one versus say Berserker which does 76 damage with a speed of one and attack speed of one um, Warrior does considerably more tanks do like no damage at all but they take all the damage um, Barbarians do less than warriors. Wow. And Centurions are right there with them. They have a ton of hit points. But... Like, they don't have... Warrior hit points, but they got a ton of hit points. Beef's looking good. A nice cook on that. It's not completely solid, solid dough in there. But yeah, these could have proved a bit better and they could have been a bit smaller in length. Sort of debating, do I I wait for the final show on the on the apple pie? If it's gonna be an hour, we're gonna be hanging out here for half an hour just doing nothing. Hi chat! How are you all tonight? I'm doing lovely. Had a good uh, Formula One race this morning. Well, qualifying. Race is tomorrow. 
tomorrow morning. You're starving. Did you read the room chat rules? <laughs> And the, the end of this piece of bread just looks almost inappropriate. Yes, I am. I'm I'm wishing that I had made the rolls about that wide. Or that long. And then the rest of this was for fattening it up. So, I think it was a good bread recipe. I, I just made them too much into... ...foot long. What kind of steak was that? That's a tri-tip. So it's not really a steak, but... It, it's more a piece that you typically find in like barbecue joints But tri-tip is a uh, Deliciousness it is one of those cuts that is Tends to be a little bit better towards the Marinate and thin slice territory than serve as a hunk of meat on a steak So we're gonna be slicing this But I'm allowing it to rest another minute or two. tempted to make a sauce out of that. I'm really tempted to make a sauce out of that. In fact, I probably am, but I'm going to wait a moment. That's looking nice. That's a nice medium well. Perhaps not the most flavorful cut of meat. But 
speed. It's a little long, closer to that roast beef type flavor, though. Take a look at her I turned the pie around in the oven, but yeah, it is going to need a bit more time. When do I start decorating for Christmas? I might not. I mean, I might pull my tree out here for the stream, but part of the reason that I am doing every day in November is I do plan to go and visit my parents here sometime in December, and so I'm probably taking at least a week off at some point in December. So we're doing mad pushes, streams here, take a break, back into full swing in January. So don't know. I'm certainly not going to start right now. I am certainly going to wait until at least Thanksgiving. I am not a store trying to sell you stuff. There, there's no... No, no desire on my part to be celebrating for months. By the way, I've completely rethought how I'm doing this sandwich now that I've cut this beef, made this beef, beef, and realized what I want to do with it.
Sorry for the screech in there. We're going to need a little bit more for the deliciousness. Just a little bit of water. Bit of garlic powder. Bit of onion powder. time. rosemary a bit more pepper heat off Take that rosemary out, I don't want it to overpower. You want to go for a swim?
I think that's looking yummy. Add our onions in with that too. That looks like deliciousness to me. Has everything good about au jus you could ever want. That I want all of give me all of this. Why did I pour it in this container? I want it all. Every last drop. Deliciousness. Give our pans a rinse out here now. Do our battle. Let's see here. Try the killing field instead of, and watch him just avoid it the entire time. <laughs> got going wrong here. We just keep dying. I, I'm not sure what the mix is, if it's a bad mix or... Yeah, that one was rough. That one looked started off looking great. And then we just sat there and died. I, I think I want to give that one one more shot. Try a centurion. Oh, hey, and our cast iron's ready to use again. I have I mentioned lately how much I love cast iron. a rough one for Stream Raiders. So 
good. I don't want to leave any of it. But we do have, giving me time here to pump the dish cord. We have our current vote between Cheetos and Pimento Cheese going in the Discord. Looks like Cheetos are going to win this one. We're going to need quite an army to come back after that. But I also thought I'd point out here we had a whole bunch of people posting food pics in the stream today. Or in uh, the Discord today. And oh wow, I'm way behind here on food photos. We have the brains that I just produced from Halloween. We have poached pear. We had Devil Penguin getting his employees to buy him lunch. We have uh, Obe pointing out his dinner for two, him and himself later. <laughs> We have last night's calamari and poached salmon. We had a lovely breakfast posted here by Blondie. We got Zen enjoying some... I, I don't know. Pork chili verde I get, but cooler weather and garden salad? Huh. Definitely the pork. Skip the greens in winter. <laughs> I'm sure that looks like it was delicious. So, future photos of my own will be in here soon. Let's see if I missed anything else from other people lately. Oh no, we got most of it there. Okay. And if you would like your own suggestions into the winter Wednesday dinner vote here, which just got another vote for Cheetos while we've been sitting here chatting. Uh, you, you're feel free to add them to the ingredient suggestions channel. We have a few guidelines, but you can read those up at the top. Try not to repeat any of the ones that have already won. That was the most recent thing that happened. We had someone recommend something I've already done. Eggnog. They recommend I do an eggnog. Eggnog was one of the first winning ingredient challenges. I probably will be doing an eggnog stream sometime in December. Probably. Um, but I, I nixed that one. Uh, I recently added daikon myself. We got taro. A whole bunch of past suggestions by other lovely people. Let's look at our pie. But if you'd like to add a suggestion to Discord, please feel free to join in and add your own suggestions. Uh, come by and just say, hey, I hang out in Discord pretty much constantly. After streams, I tend to play a little New World and sometimes I'll stream it in Discord. Don't do it on Twitch. Looks like a pie. That could use a little more time. So I'm gonna give it another 20 minutes and see what we get there. I'm not gonna be worried if our meat's a little cool because it's a sandwich. And it's delicious. Sort of half tempted to throw it back in the oven with the cheese to melt it a little bit too, anyways. So the pie, pie is looking delicious. I was 
on the edge of wanting to put some foil on it, but it looks like it's getting dark uneven. Oh, I turned it. And actually, I should probably set this for 10 minutes, not 20. That way I'll turn it, take a check, and give it another turn. What else can we do while we're hanging out here waiting? I don't have marble set up anymore. Maybe I'll just sit here and eat fruit. the discord already aren't you shadow or are you just doing that for all the lovely people i appreciate that I've done cheese balls before, but I let Cheetos fly because they're a little different. I'm thinking I might try and do crunchy Cheetos just to make it that much different, but I, I'm, I'm gonna hold back and leave my options open to the full poof Cheetos too, if that's what we need. So I'm going to make a little bit more noise in that sense. Maybe make it so I don't have to clean a gazillion things to start tomorrow's stream. That pie is smelling good though.
Ooh, and we got another vote for Cheetos on top of that. Folks just love their Cheetos. Interesting challenge. I totally forget what I did for the other ones. I think I did. I don't remember what I did for it. I want to say that I did like a. Uh, cheese balls compared to the other brands. I was really surprised. The Oots original cheese balls in the plastic bin, the plastic barrel. I liked them better than Cheetos when I had those. As far as the plain cheese, I'm not talking like flavored fiery Cheetos or anything like that. I don't even remember the name of it, the, the Cheetos that everyone uses for those challenges and stuff. Isn't there a restaurant in New York that serves everything with Cheetos? I would not be shocked. That sounds right up there with big city, we can't afford sides, we'll just give Cheetos to everyone. Give me Cheetos. I might have to try and do Cheeto pie like Frito pie. I don't know what I'm going to do with Cheetos. I mean, I don't try to think about it ahead of time anyways, but... Fuse. That I haven't heard of. But that falls right in there. Eh, falls right in there too. Need something to make us different. I don't know. Google it. Give me a link. Put it in the Discord. You're a subscriber. You can post links in chat anyways. sound bad. Doesn't sound great. Okay, so that's going to take 10 minutes more. And so I am going to take an AFK for 10 minutes here. Go use the restroom. 
leave you guys with my lovely AFK stream. What this model this is the model you're currently working on. Let me pull this up. Wow, that's detailed. That's a lot more detail. I mean, I, I know you're falling into uh, Kirby's uh, path. That's a lot of detail to fill in. That That's going to take you a while. I mean, just look at the laces on that. The laces alone would just give me a... I'd just be like, no, I'm, I'm, I don't got time for that. <laughs> Uh, let me know how it comes out for you. It looks awesome. Okay, so I'm going to take a moment, go use the restroom. I'll be back in about nine minutes or so. Going to put the AFK screen up with the old school commercials. And I will see you in a few minutes to show you our final sandwich put together and how that pie turns out. Hope to see you in a couple minutes. Folks, why do you eat wheat? We like it! But did you know it's always been whole wheat with all the bran, and bran is one of nature's best sources of food fiber. That's news to us. Wheaties breakfast this morning? Sure, it helps me feel fit. But do you know Wheaties has bran and fiber your body may need? That's serious to me. But why Wheaties? Oh, we love the taste. Half for years. But do you know for years you've been getting something extra for your diet? Brand fiber? Hmm, well, that's news to me. Wheaties. It's brand news. When you have a bat, you have an adventure. Canadian Light. That's the bat. It's a great new taste in beer. And enjoy import quality at USA prices. Have an adventure. Have a lot. Alexis machine wines are full of flavor. Alexis machine wines are dry. Alexis machine wines are mellow. Drink an Alexis machine wine with any kind of food. Or any time you feel like relaxing with a drink. Alexis machine. Next week, George and Gracie will be brought to you by Carnation. Hiya, happy boy. Wish you'd been with me today. We saw a great dog show, some beautiful dogs. There was the handsomest poodle, a real beauty, an international champion. His owner gave me some good advice. There are many dog foods on the market, but the Carnation Company makes the best. It's called Friskies, and it's quality all the way through. You should have seen the champion collie. He won everything in sight. The handler told me. A very important part of this champion's diet is meat. That's why we feed him friskies. The principal ingredient is lean red horse meat. The best you can buy. So happy, you're getting real quality. And you're going to get your friskies right now. Friskies is prepared to the high standards of Carnation Company and guarantees prime grade nourishment. Schmidt's Blue Ribbon Red gives you seven ounces of non-fat milk solids in every loaf. The equal of 90 quarts a year if you serve it regularly. Every sandwich you make, every snack gives you extra milk. For wonderful flavor combined with sound food values, serve Schmidt's Blue Ribbon Red in the pantry pack. It's the newest, most exciting sound in town. It's a general electric blender that's going around. Completely new from base to lid. Take it apart, see what they did. The basket base is the lowest you'll ever see. So they capture the 36-ounce blending capacity. The non-filled lid is really smart. For blending convenience, it comes apart. Additional ingredients, if you will. Look, no slash, see, no spill. Put them all together and you know it's true. The General Electric Blender is best for you. If you want to know another reason why, it's only 10 and one half inches high. Stores easily on the counter or on the shelf. There's a thousand things you can make yourself. Make party spreads, great cabbage heads, blend the meatloaf for a family of eight. Make ice cold drinks, you'll appreciate. 
Now's the time for you to buy the General Electric Blender. Did he say only ten and one half inches high? What? Keeping the coffee in the icebox? Yes, Mr. Jones, it's a new kind of coffee. Roasted by a new secret process. Hence, this new none-such coffee has a different flavor. A flavor preserved by vacuum packing. The flavor retained by refrigeration after the jar has been opened. Just taste it. You can't miss that delicate aroma, that clean, mellow taste. Yes, in cooking, the way to a man's heart is most of all through the coffee pot. In every jar, you'll find three special pointers, valuable in all methods of making coffee. Try new none such coffee now. Use half the jar. If not 100% satisfied, get all your money back from your grocer without argument. Special for movie week, only 28 cents a pound, plus 3 cents refundable deposit on the jar. A pleasure, Milton. In just a moment, we'll see how well Milton does at the Pentagon. But if you want to see busy hands at your house, just you offer this lively Christmas party dip that's so good to serve with king-size Fritos corn chips. Just follow the recipe right on the Fritos package. Of course, it calls for the famous Philadelphia brand cream cheese. An eight-ounce package, which we blended with two tablespoons of milk till it's nice and smooth, like so. Then come two tablespoons of Kraft cream-style horseradish for zesty flavor, a quarter teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and finally, a dash of salt. And we'll blend our Philly mixture again. And when party time comes, let the folks enjoy this wonderful Philly horseradish dip with crisp, king-sized Fritos. There are those busy hands. Just remember, you make the best-tasting dips with the freshest-tasting cream cheese you can buy. Philadelphia brand cream cheese. Made only by Kraft. And I'm back. Not a full nine minutes. You didn't go through all of them. Got most of them, though. So we're still waiting on our pie a little bit. Got another two and a half minutes there. Got another six minutes. Get units on the battlefield. See if we can't win this battle this time. How is everyone handling tonight? What's new? What's happening? Four hours in, six and a half left to go. Yeah, I'm going to be a little... We, we haven't had the greatest luck tonight. Did we lose two or three tonight? We've lost at least two tonight. Yeah, I want to say we probably lost three tonight, too. That would... Uh, I want to say we lost our first one, we lost the boss level, and then we lost this one. How long have I been streaming? We lose three and we're still here. Wow, I've done three and a half hours already? What's... Wow. Time just flying tonight. Hi. Thanks for hanging out with me in my stupid long stream. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to pull the pie out a minute early. Okay, yeah. Now we're there. Now we're there. There's our apple pie. Got a little liquid there, but if you notice the bubbling over here, you got most of the moisture cooked out of that. Happy with that. That looks good. I don't think it looks as good on camera as it does in person. It, it's, 
I'm happy with that. I think I could have probably done a little bit better with my sugar distribution over the top. But other than that, that's looking pretty. <laughs> Entropy. <laughs> so let's make a sandwich. Debating whether I... I can't put the slate in the oven. I want to melt the cheese on the top of this, but I can't do that that way. Um, I can cheat though. I can cheat though. We're going to cheat. This is the shooter sandwich. We want we want this to look like it's a hunter sandwich. We we want to bulk this baby up. Miss Lisa face. Thank you for that raid. What are we what are we up to tonight? What have we been creating lately? Welcome in everyone. I am working on making foods out of Amazon's New World game or replicating them. I'm streaming daily this month. And yes, we're working on a sandwich <laughs> a breadstick sandwich because I made the bread too small. Bread baked nicely. I just made them too long. They should have been more like this as I munch on steak. I seared and roasted some tri tip after marinating it. I marinated, seared, and baked it. And so now we're going to add some jack cheese in there. Oh, my shout out didn't work right. I gotta change that. But thank you for that raid, Miss Lisa Face. And thank you for attempting that entropy, but I don't think you have the permission that to do so. Entropy, but I don't think you have the permission that to do so. Entropy, but I don't think you have the permission. Come on, browser. There we go. Thank you for that raid. So we're working with foods from New World, which is an MMO. There's all sorts of foods. There's more than a month worth of foods with me cooking multiple items almost every day. So we started off today by making some fruit salad, which there will be a much prettier picture of later on, but I've already been munching on it, including some pickled red grapes 
that I made here at home. If you never pickled grapes before, very interesting combo. The sweetness of the grape, along with the heat and fruit of a jalapeno, and that, that spiciness of the mustard, and then the acidity. It's sweet, it's hot, and it's acidic. And so it makes your mouth water. You got all of these strong flavors going. It's really cool. I haven't... It's really a strong flavor, and it's so much of a strong flavor that I haven't decided if I like it or not. Uh, but they're very interesting now. So we're just melting our cheese here. I got the oven off, but it's been baking for quite a while today, so it's still plenty warm in there, I would hope. Uh, besides just tri-tip, I made up a gravy and tossed it with the meat, and there's some cooked onions in there. And then we have this absolutely horrid looking apple pie in front of you there. Which, it's been quite a while since I've tried to make apple pie. And I don't know if I've ever done... Oh no, I've done it in school. In like culinary school. But I don't know that I've ever done a lattice pie at home. But there you go, there's a lattice pie. And we got Stream Raiders. Let's see if we can't win this one, Entropy. We have not had, for anyone joining in right now, we have not had the greatest luck tonight with Stream Raiders. We've, we've had several losses, so... Uh, I think I'm going to go with the same attempt again, though. I'm going to go with... The damage buff rather than... Speed and run around. We want to kill everything. You don't have to be fast about it. Those ranged are just killing us. Whatever those ranged are that are in this... It's those missile things. They're just taking us out. They're just wiping us out. Entropy saving us with that mage, though. Entropy just going to town. 33 kills and 11 assists. Just carrying everyone. Even with losing half of his forces. Thank you, Entropy. We, we got through that map finally. Shadowtronics and Toto getting the rewards. Congrats. And I think we're going to call it there because we're wrapping things up here. We got our sandwich about ready to come out of the oven here. There we go, now we got some melty cheese going. Not letting it go to waste, but we don't want it in the photo, really. So, put it back there. And then photo time.
Got to get it to a size that I think I can get a square photo out of it. Sort of hard making long things square. <laughs> well, we're continuing the trend here. I really appreciate that raid, Miss Lisa Face. I enjoyed your company in my stream. And welcome everyone else who came with you. Glad to see you. If you're unfamiliar with me from the past, I'm Jason. I normally cook three nights a week, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, uh, 4.30 Pacific start time. I'm doing a special thing here for November. I am streaming every day this month other than the day before and after Thanksgiving. And I'm doing, other than Wednesdays, doing foods from Amazon's New World game. Wednesdays I'm still doing my ingredient challenge. Every week I hold a vote in my Discord. Uh, we got a current vote going between Cheetos and Pimento Cheese. And Cheetos is currently winning. And whichever ingredient wins, Wednesday I will have to use to create dishes both sweet and savory, whole dinner, using Cheetos, or whatever the ingredient is. Uh, so that should be interesting here on Wednesday. Probably going to be working with Cheetos, maybe with pimento cheese. Been doing these ingredient challenges well over a year now. All sorts of past ones in the history you can look, at, look up on the Discord. Uh, let's see if we can't give a rate to someone here tonight. Uh, give a close-up on our apple pie to start here. That's going to have to cool. That's going to have to rest here for at least an hour before I try and break into that. But I will give a photo of what like what's that like that's like once that's done, done cooling. <coughs> I took a nice photo of the fruit salad. Took a nice photo of our shooter sandwich. Going to be back here tomorrow, going to be doing both a, a campfire stew. Don't have a campfire here, but it's campfire stew. And I'm going to be using that campfire stew to make meat pies later on in the stream. So that's what's going on tomorrow. Uh, plans down below in the about for many days in the future. Let's see who's online here and who we can give. A hello to oh, we've got creators and food ooh there's someone I haven't rated before we can go say hello to hmm Let's go say hi to this is a little creative stream. Lovely creator. I don't have any music playing. Hey. We got music playing just with, in time for us to go out for the raid. So thank you all for joining me. I'm going to send you all off to hang out with how many dragons? It creates all sorts of dragons. How many dragons? Can I ask her? Uh, thank you for joining me tonight. I've already explained all that stuff before I got ahead of myself. Love to see you back here soon again. Thank you for joining me tonight. Bye-bye now.